Welcome, everyone, to Episode 7 of Trend Talks Threat Research. I'm your host, John Clay, VP of Threat Intelligence here at Trend Micro, and wanted to share with you in this episode a number of different uh, uh, research items that we have published over the last several weeks. So first thing I wanted to talk about is our cloud research. You know, we have a lot, been doing a lot of cloud research over the years, probably even started when the cloud first started. Uh, we've been in the industry that long. Um, our cloud researchers focus on a number of different areas when we look at the, the cloud today. Threat hunting is a huge piece of it. So we're constantly hunting the threat uh, in the cloud. We have a lot of customers that are running cloud infrastructure and we see the attacks uh, start to beginning uh, to the end. And so they're constantly uh, looking through our data and trying to identify new attacks and new uh, TTPs that the actors are utilizing. Another area is they threat model. So they model the, the different types of threats and attacks that can happen in the cloud, uh, trying to come up. We've actually provided a number of these attacks to the MITRE attack framework. So if you go into the MITRE attack framework, you see a number of the TTPs associated with cloud. They came out of our cloud research group. <clears throat> and then lastly, current and future uh, technologies that the cloud is bringing to bear. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of new tech going into the cloud. And so we are constantly looking at what can happen there. What will the adversaries, how will they take advantage of these new technologies? And that brings me to the post I wanted to share. Uh, we published our our 2024 cloud predictions. Uh, so the researchers put on their forward-looking thinking caps and came up with a number of scenarios that we're likely to see this year uh, to de deal with. So if you're running cloud infrastructure, this would be a great report for you to take a look at. And uh, because we also give you some ways to minimize the risks associated with the different types of attacks that we talk about in that uh, predictions report. So check that out. Also note, I'll have links to all of these research that uh, we've published over the last several weeks uh, in the show notes, so you can get access to those there. <clears throat> Another one I wanted to highlight is a report that we did on software supply chain attacks. These have become some of the most exploited uh, methods for compromising systems by adversaries out there. Uh, they're used to gain initial access to victim systems in, in many cases uh, and, and victims to a, a large set of victims in a very short period of time. Um, so, you know, contrary to the popular saying, ignorance is not bliss. Um, <laughs> instead, effectively prepare and secure their, your systems. Uh, organizations need, can benefit from that uh, looking at it. And so when we look in the article, we actually are going to ex explore a number of different supply chain scenarios that attackers have leveraged uh, to indirectly compromise organizations and their applications. So we'll correlate these scenarios where applicable, and we're also going to correlate it to the supply chain levels of software artifacts, uh, which is SLSA uh, security frameworks. So we'll tie it to that, but also to the MITRE attack framework, like I mentioned earlier. So you'll have those access to those. You'll see the, those um, uh, uh, correlations in, in that report. Another area our researchers have been publishing a series of articles on quantum computing. Uh, this is a big area of interest to a lot of people. If you're interested in quantum computing, I'd recommend you taking a look. Um, I'll link to all three of the uh, blogs that we have published about that. Uh, but one area that we certainly are concerned about is a tactic called exfiltration and holding. So data exfil and hold. Um, this is when uh, we're starting to see adversaries looking for actual um, encrypted data within organizations' networks, and they're exfiltrating those. And then they'll simply hold on to those until the quantum tech, uh, decryption technology comes into play so that they can decrypt that data at that point in time. They don't care about doing it now. They know that in the future, they may be able to utilize this data for monetary gains. So one of the um, items that a lot of organizations might want to think about doing today is actually assessing all of the data that you have encrypted today and assessing and analyzing whether Someone who has access to that in three years, five years, 10 years, whenever that quantum decryption technology becomes available, that that data is, is, isn't of use to them. 
Uh, if it is, then you may want to think about other means to um, securing that data today. So we'll have a link to all, all three of those uh, uh, articles that, are, that look into all aspects of quantum computing. And also we look at, you know, future ways that the uh, adversaries will probably likely utilize quantum computing in their attacks. I uh, also wanted to bring your attention to a newly uh, actively exploited vulnerability that our zero day uh, um, group uh, identified. So uh, Trends Zero Day Initiative, we have threat hunters within that group, and they were hunting some information about a previous uh, vulnerability. This one actually is uh, CVE 2024-21412. Uh, which af affects all Microsoft users. It's a Defender Smart Screen vulnerability. And, and how they came about finding this is actually they were looking into a, a previous vulnerability that had been disclosed on, on uh, Smart Screen. And they found this actively being exploited by an adversary group um, that uh, we call Water Hydra, uh, which is also um, a casino, I think. Um, Anyway, you can get a lot of information. I'll have a link to our uh, landing page where we give you a lot of information about it, uh, the technical details and so forth. But this shows you know, one of the things that uh, I mentioned earlier in the cloud research group, they're threat hunting as well. We constantly have a new, numerous people inside Trend Micro that threat hunt all of the different areas, all the different um, areas of technology, as well as the threat landscape. And so it allowed us to actually find a zero day in the wild. Um, it's actually being exploited by another group as well. Microsoft did publish a patch uh, as part of their uh, February patch Tuesday. So you can get, the, get a patch for that. We're not sure how effective that patch was because actually that previous uh, um, a patch that I was talking about, a previous vulnerability had a limited scope of the patch. And so the um, adversaries were able to find a, another, a new uh, exploit that could get around that original patch. So uh, narrow scope of patches is going to be a problem in the future as organizations um, try to quickly get patches out in the, in the world. And it may cause them to miss some things within the patch that can be exploited in future attacks. And this is an example of one of those. So that's about it. Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, we will have a lot more information and a lot more research that we'll be publishing. Um, I would recommend, though, know, if you want to get to our uh, corporate blog called blog.trendmicro.com, we do publish a lot of things. I didn't bring those up in here. Those are uh, shorter articles about stuff, but we, we've been publishing information about ransomware uh, attacks that we're seeing and other types of, uh, of attacks that we see out there. We have information about certain adversary groups that we publish in that in that blog as well. So feel free to take a look at that and, and any of our research. If you go to the website, trendmicro.com, you can click on that research button and it'll give you access to all of our research. So uh, with that, hopefully this helped everybody, give you a quick little digest and what maybe what interests you and then give you a link to that uh, research uh, that you can take a look at in more detail. But everybody, thanks for joining me on episode seven of Trend Talks Threat Research. I'll be back in two weeks to cover actually a more in-depth on a single piece of research that we have published uh, that will help you get more and uh, better information about that one. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Stay safe out there, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.